In this video, I'm gonna be assembling a Predator 5.2 engine. Hey guys, Josh with Oxman Garage. In today's video, I'm gonna be assembling a Predator 5.2 engine. So this isn't gonna be a how-to video. I'm simply just assembling the engine and just kind of showing you as I go. So this is a short block um, from a 2021 Shelby GT500. I had the complete drivetrain. I disassembled the engine. I took the heads off. I just wanted to see and make sure everything looked good inside. The cylinder bores and the pistons and everything looks really good. I had the cylinder heads reconditioned and uh, now I'm just gonna be assembling everything back together. So. We'll go step by step and I'll uh, show you the upgrades. All right guys, so I just wanna show you a couple upgrades on the short block before I start assembling everything together. So on the rear of the block, this is the uh, rear main seal cover support from MMR. Um, this is half inch built aluminum CNC plate. It's uh, supposed to help eliminate leaks with, you know, it's like this little uh, O-ring a groove that goes all the way around instead of using the RTV uh, silicone. It's also it also increased the block strength and stability. All right, so the next upgrade is I installed these ARP block side bolts right here. And what this is going to do is going to strengthen and support the main caps for a better bearing wear and block strength. So I got those installed. All right, so next I have the Fast Forward Race Engines uh, Coyote Squirter Block Offs. And what this is gonna do is going to increase your oil pressure and provide increased volume to critical areas of the block. So I no longer have the oil squirters that are gonna keep the uh, pistons cool. So now it's gonna provide extra volume of uh, oil pressure to the rest of the block. All right, so I'm gonna be installing the oil pump on the engine, and uh, I have a uh, how-to video to replace the oil pump gears on a Predator oil pump. So if you're interested in watching that video, it's gonna be right up here. So go ahead and check that out. And anytime you're replacing uh, the oil pump on a Coyote Predator Voodoo engine, you want to get new torque to yield oil pump bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. Next, I'm going to be installing the MMR forged crank sprocket. What this is going to do is it's going to replace that uh, factory powdered metal sprocket that on a rare occurrence has failed on higher horsepower applications. So I'm going to be installing this now. All right, so next I'm installing the fast forward race engines valley block brace. And what this is going to do is going to stiffen your engine block in critical areas. So the critical area being the valley of the engine. So it's gonna mount right where your knock sensors are gonna bolt into and then right in there as well. So it's pretty easy install. It just places right there and it should, it's gonna fit under your uh, intake manifold. So install that now. All right, so now I'm installing the fast forward race engine uh, head dowel. And uh, what this is gonna do, it's a solid piece other than the, the stock one. It's not a solid piece and it's kind of springy. And this is gonna keep the cylinder head in place better. And also when removing, you can put a threaded bolt right in here and then you can pull it out of the, uh, of the cylinder block instead of trying to finagle with the the spring one. So I'm going to install that now. All right, so now I'm installing the head gaskets and I'm going with Cometic head gaskets. This is a uh, performance multi-layer steel head gasket and this is going to do the job for my application. So I'm going to install these next. All right, so here are the cylinder heads. I When I took these off, I took all the valves out, um, the springs, the keepers, the uh, retainers had everything cleaned up the valves were a little carbon pitted and in the intake ports there's a little bit of carbon in there so i had all that cleaned up um all of the cam journals there's just a couple of them they had some scoring you know if you 
take your fingernail and you rub past it and you get a little bit of a catch. So I had a little bit of a catch in a couple of the journals. So I had my uh, engine guy, I had him polish all the uh, journals and then polish the camshaft. So they're in really good shape. And then I also had the, uh, the surface of the, uh, the cylinder uh, milled down. Because I had a couple of scratches when I took them off, there was a couple of scratches on both sides of the head. So um, I just wanted to take care of that area. And then before everything was reassembled, I had them put in a parts washer and had them all cleaned up. So now I'm going to be installing these on the, uh, on the engine block. All right, so now I'm installing ARP head studs. So I got all my studs, uh, stud, 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 stud. <laughs> So uh, now I'm going to be installing these hand tight and then you want to make sure all your washers and your, uh, your nuts are uh, nice and clean and then it comes with the ARP Ultra Torque Lube and it's nice, comes with the instructions. So yeah, I'm going to be installing the studs now. All right, so I'm going to be timing the motor. I'm not going to be showing that in this video. If that's something you're interested in, uh, you want to know how to time a Predator 5.2 engine, uh, check out the link that I'm going to have in this video where you can find the video for timing this engine. So moving right along, we'll do a little camera magic and um, we'll get it timed right now. Oh, just like that. It's all done. So the Coyote, the Voodoo, and the Predator, they all need RTV gasket maker in the same spot. So here, 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 and here before you put the timing cover on. And you want to make sure you're using brand new gaskets on your timing cover. So I'm going to put the timing cover on now. All right, so we got the timing cover on and we're flipping the motor upside down. And now I put the spacer nut on. And then next I have to put RTV gasket maker here, 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 and here. And after I do that, I have to quickly put the new oil pan gasket on. And then I have to put the oil pickup on, then bolt it down, and then put the oil pan on. But uh, before I do that, I want to show you guys my uh, oil pickup. All right, so this is my oil pickup pan. This is right here. This is all Predator uh, pickup. And then from here, this is for a Coyote um, motor. And this is what Moroso made right here. You can see it's got a different kind of uh, strainer pickup there. Um, but yeah, this used to be... This used to be all Predator right here, and then I cut this off and welded on my Moroso strainer here so this would work with my Moroso 8-quart oil pan. So a little custom modification so that that would work. All right, so we have the oil pan on, and uh, this is an 8-quart capacity. This is from Moroso. I had this custom made. By those guys uh, I sent some drawings out to them so that this would work with uh, my coyote swapped um, Thunderbird so I sent the drawings out to them they came back with a CAD drawing and I was like that looks great and then uh, a few weeks later they sent me this but this is back in 2015 it's zinc coated it's got a nice baffling system inside too so this is very comparable to the Predator oil pan there's baffling uh, inside here so if there's any sloshing from drag racing or road racing the baffles kind of keep the oil uh, centered on the pickup so nice little oil pan we got that on there next I'm going to put the harmonic balancer on all right so now I'm going to be installing uh, the harmonic balancer and this is a VMP performance part uh, VMP performance teamed up with ATI and made this three-piece harmonic balancer and as you can see there's the hub here and it's a shorter hub because the idea was to put the 
the heavier part of the balance more towards the uh, the timing cover. So this is gonna be your supercharger AC um, pulley, and then this is gonna be your accessories. So the nice little piece that they made, I think it weighs just a smidge over 10 pounds, which is a lot lighter than the stock and the uh, Coyote ATI uh, harmonic balancers that they made. And this is a double keyway. So when you put this guy on, you wanna put RTV on both of them and then put that right in there. All right, so now I'm installing the VMP Performance Harmonic Balancer Hub. I'm gonna put a light coating of oil on the snout. And typically, when you install one of these guys, you wanna use a harmonic balancer installation tool like this one. But they don't sell anything for the Predator because the Predator uh, thread inside the snout is a metric 14 so I had to do some searching on the internet and I found a metric 14 by 1.5 and 140 millimeters uh, long so I'll put a link in the description for any of the uh, predator guys looking but I'll basically put the hub on I'll use this uh, formed washer that will go with the hub and then I'll have a washer on top of it and I'll just go like this. And then I'm going to put ARP fastener lube all over this thing. So all I have to do is tighten it down like so. Right there at the end of the video, I installed the uh, fast forward race engines, a harmonic balancer crankshaft uh, stud kit. Uh, it works with the, the Predator crank snouts, and this is not a one time use torque to yield bolt. It's, um, you know, it's a hardened bolt. I can reuse it in the future if the engine ever needs a rebuild. So, all right, so now I'm installing the VMP harmonic balancer back pulley. You'll see there's a little dot there and a little dot here. Just gonna line up the dots. Like that. All right, so now I'm gonna install the bolts. These little cone-shaped bolts. That's a Torx 40. And these get torqued down to 16 foot-pounds. All right, so next, putting the accessory plate on, and this is getting torqued down to 28 foot pounds, which is on the pulley. All right, so now I'm installing the water pump. You want to put some fresh coolant on your new O-ring. That's going to be going on the block. So I just want to position it like so. Water pump pulley. All right, so now I'm putting on all the pulleys. The first one is a supercharger pulley. It's got this lip on the end. Put the washer on first. Then put the pulley on. Like that. I'm gonna have the bolt sticking out a little bit. Because if you try to put this with the bolt in, it'll interfere the water pump pulley. Okay, then the next one is this kind of coned, dished looking one. It's gonna go right here. Next you got the supercharger belt tensioner, or the AC as well. 
And here's the accessory. He's gonna go right here. All right, so because I'm using the overdrive VMP uh, harmonic balancer, I'm gonna be using uh, the VMP low profile accessory belt tensioner, and this is gonna go right there. And I'll install that on another time. All right, so when you're tor torquing all these bolts down, so the one, two idlers, the tensioner, accessory tensioner, this idler, the alternator, all these bolts are gonna be 35 foot-pounds. And then your water pump pulley right here is 18 foot-pounds. All right, so now we're gonna install the valve covers and everything is aluminum gray, but we gotta make this pop a little bit. So I went and colored the valve covers, a dupa color red, this is the metal cast. And that looks absolutely beautiful, I love it. It's got a little bit of metallic on it. It's gonna look great on this. It's gonna make the engine pop a little bit. So we're gonna put the uh, valve covers on. You wanna put RTV here and here, and then just put a light coating of oil around the, uh, the phasers here, spark plug holes, just so that rubber grommet will slip past it. All right, guys, I want to show you some fun stuff. This is where all the boost happens, okay? So this is the stock Predator supercharger manifold, and I sent this out to Kong Performance to have them do their CNC port job, and it is like glass. It's a very nice port job. The transitions in between the ports, the back right here, and then past the throttle body on the intake side right here, it's just gonna flow better. It's gonna pick up some horsepower. I really like um, their CNC port service from Kong Performance. To complement that, I also got their uh, Grip Tech pulley, and that's the 2.8. And then on the sides here, I have products from VMP Performance, and this is their Apex Predator lid. And this is a raised lid. It's gonna increase airflow. And then this is the intercooler that comes with it and it's a raised intercooler it's going to lower those intake temperatures and on their website when you had these paired together you saw gains of like 40 horsepower at the wheels so i'm really excited to get these on the car and see how it performs so before i wrap up the video we're going to put these on the long block just kind of show everything what it's going to look like and um yeah that's going to be it and here it is oh my gosh this looks so beautiful. I really like the way the red and the silver complement each other. I thought about painting the timing cover red too, but I think that would have been too much red. A um, couple other parts to know. We got the VMP Performance fuel rails matched with ID1300 fuel injectors. And then we have the Kong Performance uh, throttle body here. And that CNC port is going to match that opening, so it's going to flow really nice. So this is going to wrap up the video, guys. If you liked what you've seen here, please subscribe to the page. Please like this video because you got to come back. you got to come back and find out what this motor is going to be going to. This Mustang right here? I don't know. you got to come back. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll catch you on the next video. Please like and subscribe. This is Josh with Oxman Garage.